New Image Insertion Workflow. Place images faster and with more control. In the 2017 version of FrameMaker, we've improved the image insertion experience. Now you'll find that command under the new Insert menu item as a first level menu command, rather than as a second level menu command, File, Import, File menu, which you can see still exists. When inserting a graphic, here I'll make a place to put the graphic in. I'll go up to Insert Image, and I'll choose my graphic. In this case, I'm choosing a very small graphic, and what you'll see is when I hit Insert, the graphic will come in at 100% where available. I have full control over, the, over this graphic, but if I bring in another graphic that's a little bit larger, the same image saved with more pixels across, when I hit insert, now the image comes in, even though it was wider than the column that I've placed it in, the image has been resized to fit the column. Once here, I now have an easier time controlling that image as well. I'll select the graphic, and then go to the object properties pod, which is available underneath the graphics menu in case you don't have it up. You can see that the scale information has been preserved, and I can scale either using specific image information here by choosing Scale and then hitting Apply, or I can choose a specific DPI. So if I know I have a screenshot that I want to place at 96 or 72 DPI, I can do that as well. And you can see that the scale changes accordingly. Along with the ability to change scale and DPI, in fact, let me put this back to about 14%. I also have the ability to choose an object style, and when I choose that object style, I can quickly apply a series of settings to the graphic based upon things that I have saved in my template. Overall, this will make a big difference when you're importing images and managing the images within your document. If you have questions or would like more information, please contact us at techcom at adobe.com.